Basam, Odessa American, Candidates Tout Experience at Forum, Yiling Yetn Nin Tat Yup Yi Sap Yat Yan Thaniel Miller Source, Odessa American, Texas July Yi Sap Yat, the four candidates vying for the recommendation from local actor county precinct chairs for the new district court judgeship spoke during the Monday Forum, giving their reasons why they are best suited for the job held at the Odessa Regional Medical Center Community Room during the monthly Hector County Republican Women's Meeting. Sarah Kate Billingsley, Christopher Clark, John Cliff and Kathy Wilson spoke to a packed room and each gave reasons on why they should get the recommendation. The new Sebasay Saploth District Court, signed into law by Gulf, Greg Abbott on June Subgaul, will focus mainly on cases of family law matters while also overseeing criminal and civil cases assigned to it, according to an order signed by the four current district court judges in Hector County. While the appointment to the judgeship is made by the governor, the recommendation will come from the precinct chairs. The seat will also be open in the upcoming Yitzhin Yesaplot elections, by Lingsley and Clark, both of whom are under CESAP said despite their ages, their passion would be beneficial because they would work harder to set a precedent for the newly created court. Clark, who has been the actor county justice of the peace for precinct Yi since Yi Tin Lingao, has also served as a prosecutor for the actor county attorney's office and started his career with Steve Brennan after getting his degree from Texas Well Lion University School of Law. Over the course of these past years, I have learned, through hands-on experience, what it means to be a judge, Clark said. I have learned to read and apply law neutrally without mingling thoughts or bias on a personal level. By Lingsley, who opened firm Billingsley Law Firm in Yi Tin Ling Yesup, started with Todd, Barron, Thomason and Hudman after getting her degree from the University of Oklahoma in Yi Tin Ling Tad. By Lingsley said her experience in cases has ranged from murder to litigation, to personal injury, and also talked about her work with local non-profits such as Food Yikins and the United Way of Odessa. This court will require someone passionate and require someone ready to roll up their sleeves to work harder than they ever had before to maintain the entire family law docket, she said. I come from a long line of waitresses, nothing worth having comes easy and I'm not afraid of hard work. Additionally. Attorney John Cliff and title for Judge Cathy Wilson set their numerous years working with family law matters in the courtroom gives them an advantage when seeking the nomination. Cliff said he has been practicing law since Yatingo Batasapse and has tried more than some of family law jury trials and appeared in at least in some different family law courts throughout his tenure. He also said he was a part-time instructor at Odessa College teaching legal research and the family code. I think experience, experience in seeing how other judges have made these decisions is the most consideration, Cliff said, we can all read the law, we can all follow the rules of evidence and read the family code, but most of the decisions are going to be made by a family law judge, Wilson, who has been the title for judge since Yi Tin, said she has years of experience of making decisions regarding the future of the children that come through her court while also seeing no backlog in her docket. Despite seeing cases from so different counties along with Hector County's cases, the learning curve for the judgeship, Wilson said, would also be short for her as she already has the experience in family law matters as well as her time as being an assistant attorney general and staff attorney for the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. You're dealing with people's hopes and their dreams with their children, and having been able to deliver the decisions to them and deal with and appreciate the emotions that go with these cases is something you can only experience, Wilson said. Moderated by CBS J. Hendricks, all four candidates took turns answering questions about how they would establish their dockets, run the newly created district court, and deal with an increasing backlog at the Actor County Courthouse. All of the candidates agreed that the court's primary function would be to help ease backlog by taking on the majority of family law matters, but they also said they would do it different ways. Cliff, for example, 
said he would not allow attorneys to decide when cases get set and he would work long hours. Wilson said she uses a dismissal docket as a last resort when cases cannot get ready. Clark said cases in his court get a hearing as early as possible and he would do the same as a district court. Billingsley said she would work long hours to get the job done. The new district court could also handle same-sex divorces as well. Cliff and Wilson said they believe district judges should follow the law, while Billingsley and Clark declined to comment on the possibility of handling such cases. Precinct chairs will hold a meeting Thursday about the recommendation and send their decision to the board. During the last Ector County Commissioner's Court meeting, officials said they hoped to have the new court open by October. Contact Nathaniel Miller on Twitter at Aldo Agavernment, on Facebook at OA Nathaniel Miller or Cork Say Sam Ye, Sam Sam Sam, Tat Tat Local Copyright, C. Ye Tin Ling The Odessa American. Odessa, Texas. Visit the Odessa American. Odessa, Texas. At www.oaoa come distributed by Tribune Content Agency, LLC.